Hello, we're here today with another SIU Medicine Minute with Dr. Yonkin. How are you doing today, doctor? Good, thanks, Natalie. No, of course, it's a pleasure to talk to you. And can we start talking about osteoporosis? Sure, so as an obstetrician gynecologist, that's something I see a lot, especially in postmenopausal women who tend to lose bone calcium and then develop weak bones, which is what osteoporosis really means. And how is it diagnosed? So there's a test called a DEXA, which is a simple kind of x-ray test to look at specifically the spine and the hips. And if those areas are weak, it implies the rest of the body is weak too, as far as bones. And that means the patient may need to be treated for osteoporosis. Can you go into a treatment plan? Yes, so everybody should take calcium and vitamin D. And that means all women and men too, um, as a basic strategy. But if the bones are very weak, that is osteoporosis, then medications can be prescribed. And then do you have any tips for prevention? Yes, so besides taking calcium and vitamin D every day, which really is just one tablet, and whatever the tablet is, it's usually 500 milligrams of calcium plus vitamin D. Besides that, then weight-bearing exercise. And that means walking, doing a treadmill, you know, in a gym, some type of exercise where you're actually bearing your body weight. So swimming, for example, wouldn't count. Although it's good exercise, it doesn't build up the bones. You shouldn't smoke. Smoking is bad for your bones. Um, if you've had something like a gastric bypass, or if you have Crohn's disease, those are conditions where the body doesn't absorb nutrients very well, then you may need to be on extra medication or extra calcium. You should talk to your doctor about that. And I know we talked before how you've been in this industry for many years. Do you have any final tips for anybody that may think they might have this or you know, just wanna learn more about it? So talk to your doctor now. All women 65 or older, that's Medicare age, should have had a bone density test. And many of them should have it sooner. Uh, men should have their test by age 75. So if you haven't had a DEXA, a bone density, um, ask your doctor about that test. It is covered by Medicare. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Yonkin. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Natalie. Oh, and this has been another SIU Medicine Minute.